What's up, Comic Universe? DPZ riding solo again. And today we're going to be doing something a little interesting. This is going to be the start of a new segment called Non-Comic Lineup. Now this was a segment that I used to do on my channel, but I decided to revive it and bring it to Comic Universe. Now for those who are unaware of what comic, uh, excuse me, comic non-comic lineup is, it's basically where I take a team, or any of us from here on Universe, that's right, so if you're watching, because I know you are, uh, Craig, uh, you know, C-Dubs, Jay, these guys can come in and do this too, but basically what this is is that we take known comic book teams and remix it that uh, so that uh, characters from outside of the comic universe, like video games, movies, cartoons, anime, uh, characters like that are part of this team. So let's say, like, we have an Avengers team, but, like, Goku's on it, or, you know, um, Le uh, you know, uh, Leon S. Kennedy's on Secret Avengers or some shit. Like, that's the idea. And today we're going to do something, a uh, rather than do a superhero team, I decided, because I'm not, <laughs> you know, I tend to, you know, go outside the box more more often than not. We're going to start off with the four, with Apocalypse's Four Horsemen. That's right. What if Apocalypse took four characters from outside the comic universe? So that's right. No DC, no Image, no Dark Horse, nothing from a comic title outside of the comics, guys. Keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, what if Apocalypse made four other characters his new horsemen? So, let's get started with my... So keep in mind, these are my picks, and as always, I want to hear wh who would you have as uh, Apocalypse's new Four Horsemen. So, anyway, let's get started with Pestilence. Now, Pestilence in my lineup would be Meteora, a.k.a. Miss Heinous, from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Before she got re... You know, spoilers for the Season 3 finale, but basically, before she got... Uh, re turned back into a kid from Eclipsa or Star's Magic. Um, she was she had basically tapped into her monster side and became this human monster hybrid that could essentially drain the souls out of people and make her more powerful. She became this giant hulking monster that uh, became like a pestilence on on the land of Muni. She was literally consuming magic to enter and people's souls to add to her own power. Um, so that was the cool thing about her, was that, yeah, she was essentially, like the namesake, pe she was a pestilence on the land. So Apocalypse, could you imagine what he would do if he could ramp up that power um, already of a soul-eating monster hybrid thing? Yeah, definitely he would make her famine. He would make Meteora uh, famine. So, movie, excuse me, pestilence. Famine is our next one. And, fam and my pick for uh, famine would be Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. Gluttony, of course, I know. Why are you making Gluttony famine? Because Gluttony, wherever he goes, causes famine. And, yeah, it's I like the irony of it that, you know, a thing named Gluttony is the embodiment of famine. Um, eating everything in sight and destroying the world around him. Fa um, Gluttony is a powerhouse in of his own right, but could you imagine up, uh, um, Apocalypse upgrading one of the most powerful members of the homunculus group? Uh... I shudder to think how that would go. <laughs> so, absolutely, definitely, uh, gluttony would be famine. Um, moving right on to war. Now, who would I have as war? Who could, you know, who could Apocalypse uh, take uh, from another universe and make into his new horseman of war? Well, this one would be an interesting pick. But, <laughs> I'm going to be going with Goldar from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Goldar is a, is a great general. He's a powerful fighter. Um, he's dangerous. He's very intelligent. Although, we're, I'm going by the... Uh, I know I'm cheating a bit and going by more a little Boom Studios version of Goldar. But, for all intents and purposes, it is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, still. Um, so, yeah. Goldar would be war. Goldar... Would be my would be my incarnation of war for this version of the Four Horsemen, and finally we come to death. You know who? So who would be the non-comic uh, Horseman of Death in this uh, in this non-comic lineup? Well, dear viewers, I thought about there are tons of characters out there that represent uh, that could easily be a Horseman of Death, but 
thinking it over a little bit, I decided the person who I would pick as the as uh, the Horseman of Death would be <laughs> would be no and you guys are gonna get a kick out of this. None, it would be none other than Lucy from the anime Elfin Lead. Lucy is if you want to talk about mass murder and death wherever she goes, that's Lucy. Those vectors, especially if you want to go by the manga. If you want to go by the manga version of Elfin Lead, oh my god is Lu Lucy OP. Apocalypse would take one look at Lucy and just go, yeah, I'm going to make you my horseman of death. I can only imagine what kind of upgrades he would give to Lucy's vectors. I can't even imagine how, you know, how he would upgrade uh, Lucy's vectors. And keep in mind, in the manga version of, El of Elfin Lead, she could actually kill millions of people with, with those vectors. Like, they could stretch across the world in under 15 seconds. Like, it would take seconds to go around the world. Could you imagine what he could do? Um, could you... Also, she has the... Her, when she uses her vectors at full strength, it's like the equivalent of being hit with an atom bomb. Yeah. So... I shudder to think what Apocalypse would, could do if he upgraded Lucy. So this is so that would be some scary shit. This shit. So there you go, guys. My non-comic four horsemen of Apocalypse, and those again are Meteora, Gluttony, Goldar, and Lucy. So there you go, guys. The four. Uh, um. Yeah. That is that not a terrifying group? <laughs> is that not a terrifying group of uh for uh Apocalypse to have as his horsemen? Yeah. But anyway, guys, um, as always, you guys tell me in the comments below, who would you have as the non as your non-comic horseman? You know, what four characters outside of comics, so, you know, again, no image, dark horse, or anything like that, but something from, you know, outside, like in manga, movies, anime, games, cartoons, what four characters would you pick as Apocalypse's new four horsemen? Comment below, let me know. And once again, this segment is not just going to be a segment done by me. Um, this is also open, much like I'd ship it, uh, the, our other segment. This is going. This is a open segment for uh, C Dubs and uh, Jay to do as well. So you guys, so they can come on here, do like Justice, a non-comic team up, uh, a team of Justice League or Avengers or Teen Titans, stuff like that. So, but yeah, just comment below, let us know, and once again, hit that bell if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and once again, see you once more in the universe.